you are once again welcome today we are going to have a look at react.js concept okay it's really important to understand the concept behind react.js so that you better understand what is going on okay so the first one we are going to look at today is called component okay we are going to dive into component Guys, we haven't started coding yet, but trust me, all these things are what preparing you to understand what is React.js, okay? So let's see what is a component. I have summarized some point on the component. If you're familiar with components, maybe this will be very easy for you, but I advise you keep along to enhance what you have. So components are the groups or pieces of visual representation of your website. Two, components are like JavaScript functions. Three, they accept input called props and return React element. Note, always, always, always start component names with capital letter. Okay, all these things may be not okay with you, but let me show you with what pictures to ever understand what we are talking about here. We will come back to this point as you proceed on to understand what a component is okay so now from the previous points i stated that components are what they are like javascript functions but the takeaway from here is that a component represents a visual representation on your web page okay so everything you see on your web page can be described as a component so, so now take it like take it that component is what you see on a web page okay so i've taken udemy website for example now let's start diving in on the now bar we see we have the red red border one that one can be described as what a component and in there we have udemy logo and categories search bar udemy for business and whatever all these can be classified as component as well because they represent a visual representation of your website so we can categorize component based on what they do right so that is first component and then the next one you see as you see blue border line and in there we have a orange background that one can be classified as what a component right and in there we have a brighten your future that one also has this this um box let me see that one so we can say this is also a component because it represents a visual representation of your application but component can be classified as a parent or child you have child component and a parent component a parent component is the one that contains other components so if you take this one for example the with a orange background we can see that that one represents what a parent component and in there we have a child component like so so what i want to understand here is that a component represent what user sees or what you see on a web page can be classified as a component we will group component based on some factors. For example, if they perform similar functions or whatever, but a slightly different, so you can customize a component to perform many functions. But don't worry about that now. What I want to understand from this video is that component represent what you see on a web page. Okay, and like what we see down here, the same uh, techniques, right? If the one here with the red border line and in there it has some courses, right? So the one with the red border line can be classified as what a parent and in there we have courses in or inside too as well. So all, all what you see here are what classified as what a component and we dive into it by creating our own component to better understand what they are talking about. Because if I'm doing like this, it's like I'm building castle in the air, right? So don't worry about it now. If it's not okay with it, you are going to practice with code to better understand what you are talking about. Okay. So in the next video, we will start creating 
our first component.